Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here, as well as my podcast, Elemental Mirror Podcast, which you can check out all of that stuff in the description box below. But for this video, I want to talk about whether you are falling out of love versus having healthy disagreements. And this video idea came to me quite a while ago because for the longest time, I've had the belief that I would meet the perfect partner for me and we would just fall in love and we would have the most amazing relationship and there would be no disagreements or anything negative, no drama, and we would just be happy, happily ever after kind of thing. And I'm realizing now that that is just never gonna happen because we are human, we are flawed and we will disagree on things. Like we are not perfect, we are not the same person, we are not clones of each other. So obviously disagreements are gonna happen, even if you don't like it. And I'm starting to understand now the difference between healthy disagreements versus toxic ones, because in a lot of my past relationships, especially when I was young and a bit dumb and naive and like a bit toxic myself, you know, the disagreements would not be healthy. Like the love that I had for somebody would not be the focal point. It would just be about trying to be right and trying to prove them wrong and trying to basically avoid this disagreement as much as possible because I didn't like to have conflict, you know? Like it would feel quite shocking to my nervous system and stuff. So it would be very toxic, very unhealthy, and there would be no real level of communication because I didn't really know how to communicate. And I feel like neither did the other person, you know? So I think especially when we're younger and we're not really very self-aware, our types of communication is gonna come across very unhealthy and a lot of like toxic patterns and stuff and even going in a lot of karmic cycles, which I definitely did. So the old way of doing things that I experienced when I was younger was very, very toxic. And now I feel like there's a lot more healthy disagreement, but the disagreement still happens. And I think, Sometimes we kind of have this fantasy or this idea, especially if you're a little Pisces like me, you know, we're in our fantasy land all the time, where you can want things to be perfect and it starts to feel like you're falling out of love with the person, when in reality, you're just being human, you know? And like, sometimes it can be hard to tell whether there's incompatibility there and whether the relationship just is not gonna work or whether it's actually just a healthy disagreement and it's normal to have these kind of disagreements. And I think the key to this really comes back to compatibility and comes back to what you want in a relationship, what you want out of life, what your values are, what your non-negotiables are, what your standard is. I feel like these are things that I say all the time in my videos because they are really the foundation to life. They're like your foundation to the types of experiences and relationships that you wanna attract into your life. And if you're not clear on what your foundation is, which is definitely what happened to me before in so many relationships, if you're not clear on it, and even if you are clear on it, if you don't walk it, if you don't own it, and you don't like hold on to your standard, then you're gonna choose people that do not meet that. And you're gonna choose people that constantly push your boundaries and constantly like, blow up in your face, you know? And it can be very chaotic and very dramatic and quite like upsetting, essentially. You're gonna end up in situations that hurt you with people that constantly do things that you don't like. So you really need to be clear on what your foundation is and then actually own it and walk with it and hold on to it, you know? And then be strong enough and like in your power enough to choose people that are only in alignment with you and not people that go against you all of the time. So like once you know what your foundation is, what your standard is and everything like that, then you can actually look at your relationship and be like, okay, are we disagreeing on things that are not like my non-negotiables? Are we disagreeing on huge things that I really can't get past or that the other person can't get past? Or are these disagreements something really small that we can actually talk about and get back on the same page? Because there's so many times where me and my partner will have little disagreements, but it won't be anything major 
to where like we can't work through it and sometimes it can feel major in those moments sometimes it can feel like a really really big deal but I feel like that's our thoughts just overthinking it and like trying to analyze what the other person will do when you bring it up you know you can start like analyzing how they're going to react and sometimes their reaction when you actually go to them is completely completely different to what you imagined and that's a lesson I really had to learn a lot over the last couple of years like we kind of project onto people and make assumptions based on what we fear and not the reality of the situation so are these disagreements things that you can actually talk to them about and work through it and you're not going to know this until you talk to them you know you're not going to know what their reaction is going to be not in the reality of it until you actually try and it's only through trying that you then discover okay they react in this way or they react in this way and then you can figure out how to move through that because if they react in positive ways where even though you might disagree and there might be some yelling or there might be some like you know whatever kind of conflict however you guys handle that maybe you're able to actually communicate without yelling, maybe you're able to keep the love as the focal point and be respectful, and maybe you blow up, whatever it is, like, once you're able to communicate, you might be able to get back on the same page with it, even if there's a bit of yelling in there, but if you're continuously coming up to these disagreements and they get really toxic and really unhealthy and, like, leaving you crying all of the time and stuff like that. And then you're not able to get past it because the actual communication itself causes you harm, not just the issue of whatever it is that you're trying to communicate about, you know, like if the actual interaction is harmful as well, then maybe it's time to look at compatibility and look at whether these are things you can get past. And like, if the person is never gonna change, like you have to take them at face value. So if the way that they communicate imagine that how they do that the things that they're doing imagine that those things are never going to change because we can't change people so imagine that what they are the way that they come to you the way that they communicate the things that they do imagine that those things are forever would you be able to handle that like is that something that you can accept or is it something that causes you harm and pain and sadness especially if it's on a consistent basis like is that something that you can tolerate? And if the answer is no, then the chances are you are incompatible and it's not the right person for you, you know? But healthy disagreement is definitely normal and okay. So if it's small things, then it's definitely something that you can handle and it's not necessarily that you're falling out of love. You know, I feel like falling out of love to me is either incompatibility, like from the jump, or where you're growing in different directions and maybe you were compatible before but now you're like because life is a growing learning journey you know so maybe where you're headed now is no longer compatible and that feels like you're falling out of love but really you're just going in different directions you know so yeah I just think these are just things to think about along your journey. I hope it's really helpful. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. Also, you can pre-save my new single, which is dropping in October. The link to that is in the description box below as well. I'm so excited to share new music with you. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Have the best week. Thank you.